Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. My name is Ksenia and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute teddy bear. The size of this teddy bear is around 30 cm, 11 inches, and you will need less than one skein of plush yarn to crochet this cute bear. The pattern is really easy to follow and even beginner can crochet it. So let's start! You will need less than one skein of plush yarn in 120 meters 100 grams. Also you will need additional color around 20 grams, cotton yarn, fiber fill, scissors, glue, hook number 4 mm, you will need needle marker, uh, also thread, lighter, beads or plastic eyes on a safety plug 10 mm and plastic nose 10 to 7 mm. So this is all what you will need. Let's start crochet. We will start with crocheting tail for the bear. First what we have to do is uh, to take plush yarn main color. In magic ring we have to do 6 single crochet. After that we have to do 6 increases. So at the end of this round we will have 12 single crochet. Last increase. After that we have to crochet in the next round 3 single crochet and 1 increase. 1, 2, 3, increase. 1, 2, 3, increase. 1, 2, 3 and increase. In the end of this round we have 15 single crochet. In the next round crochet 3 single crochet and decrease. Repeat it 3 times. 1 single crochet, 2, 3, decrease, 1, 2, 3, decrease, 1, 2, 3 and last decrease. At the end of this round we have 12 single crochet. Next round crochet 5 decrease. 1, 2, 3, 4 and last one 5. You should end this decrease with a slip stitch. Cut the yarn. Now you can uh, remove all these tail ends and fix them. And after that you can add a little bit of fiber fill. I like more when 
tail is with fiber feel. It looks nicer. Okay. The tail is ready. And now we can crochet ears. We have to use again the yarn main color. In magic ring we have to do six single crochet. In the next round we will crochet six increases. Increases it means in each stitch two times we will do a single crochet. At the end of this round we will have 12 stitches. You can also place the marker. It will be easy for you. You will always see where your uh, round starts. Okay, place a marker and the next round we will crochet three single crochet and one increase. Same like we did with the tail. Repeat it three times. At the end of this round we will have 15 stitches. In the first stitch of the next round crochet one slip stitch. Cut the yarn and leave a tail. So, this is our first ear. The same you can crochet by yourself. Now we will crochet muzzle for the bear. We have to take yarn additional color. And in magic ring we have to crochet 6 single crochet. In the next round we have to crochet six increases. At the end of this round we will have 12 stitches. If I'm crocheting for you very fast you can change the speed in the settings and uh, to make it slower or if opposite and I'm crocheting slow you can make it faster. I was learning how to crochet by YouTube's tutorials and uh, it really helped me so that's why uh, it is my advice if you are only beginner it's better for you to make uh, the speed slower and to work slower um, until you will understand <laughs> the way how to crochet. In the next round crochet one single crochet, increase and repeat it six times. One single crochet, increase, one single crochet, increase, one single crochet increase, one single crochet, increase, one single crochet, increase and last time. At the end of this round we have 18 stitches. The next round crochet 18 single crochet. So in each stitch one single crochet with no changes. Mm -hmm. 
you should finish the crocheting with a slip stitch and cut the yarn all small details are ready tail ears and muzzle now we can crochet arms and legs we will start with crocheting arms and we will start with the yarn additional color in the magic green crochet six single crochet one two three four five six in the next round crochet six increases at the end of this round we will have 12 stitches first increase second third fourth fifth and the last one increase place the marker in the next round crochet one single crochet increase and repeat it six times increase it means two single crochet in one stitch one single crochet increase one single crochet increase one single crochet increase one single crochet increase and last time at the end of this round we have 18 stitches next round we will crochet without changes 18 single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, 17, 18. In the next round we will crochet decrease. We will crochet one single crochet and one decrease. Repeat it six times. One single crochet decrease one single crochet decrease one single crochet decrease one single crochet decrease one single crochet and when you will do last decrease don't finish this single crochet because we will add the yarn main color the next round we will work only in back loops we will crochet 12 single crochet only back loops one single crochet two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve now you can fix the tail ends in the place where we changed color I usually make knot three four times and after cut the tails and you can use lighter for the ends now 
now we can we can continue crocheting place the marker in the beginning of this round and from the next round we will crochet with you three rounds and in each round 12 single crochet or you can just crochet 36 single crochet continue crocheting by yourself Crush as the last stitches of this round and in the next round we already will start make decreases. So now you can uh, fill uh, arm with fiber fill. You can feel more tight this part and after add just little bit of fiber fill. Continue crocheting, place a marker and in the next round make decrease and after that 10 single crochet, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven eight nine and ten at the end of this round we have 11 stitches after next round crochet 11 single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 and 11. Next round crochet 1 decrease and after 9 single crochet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. At the end of this round we have 10 single crochet. Next round, last round, crochet 10 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Remove the marker, check how you filled the arm with fiber fill, maybe you will need to add a little bit more, I will add a little bit. Now fold together these two sides and crochet through two sides four single crochet. One, two, three, and four. The last one finish with a slip stitch. So the arm is ready. You can crochet the second arm by yourself and 
continue crocheting we will crochet the legs we have to start with a yarn additional color the crocheting start with five chain first chain second third number four and five in the second chain from the hook we will crochet one increase in the next third chain one single crochet in the fourth chain also one single crochet and in the last we will make increase but with three uh, single crochet one two and three turn the crocheting and this stitch crochet one single crochet in the second one single crochet and in the last here we will crochet the last and the last stitch last one single crochet this will be the beginning for the leg now you can place the marker and in the next round crochet three increases first second third crochet two single crochet one two now again three increases one two three and after two single crochet at the end of this round we have 16 single crochet next round crochet increase and one single crochet again increase one single crochet increase one single crochet then crochet two single crochet one two and now increase one single crochet increase one single crochet increase one single crochet and after two single crochet on the last single crochet we will change color to the main one so you don't have to finish this uh, single crochet add the yarn of the main color and next round number four we will crochet 22 single crochet but only work in back loops one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 21 and last one 22 
Now you can fix the tail ends in the place where we changed color. The next round crochet 22 single crochet in each stitch. Now work in front and back loops. Crochet by yourself. The next round we will start with decreases. Crochet 3 decreases, work in front loops only. First, second decrease, third, after crochet 2 single crochet, 1, Two. Now decrease one single crochet, decrease one single crochet, decrease one single crochet, and after five single crochet until the end of this round. One, two, three, four, five. Next round we will crochet two decrease. First decrease, second, after two single crochet. One, two. Now decrease one single crochet decrease one single crochet and after four single crochet until the end of this round now you can feel a little bit with fiber feel our leg the same way like we filled our arm, this part where we have additional color, you can feel a little bit more tight and after not very tight. It is better to uh, add fiber fill during crocheting. It's more comfortable and the result is better, so you will not miss some parts and you can stuff really well. The next round, uh, round number 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12, crochet without changes. In each round, 12 single crochet or 60 single crochet, you can count like this. Crochet by yourself. Press the last stitches 
of the round 12. Place the marker in the beginning of the next round and crochet decrease 10 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. At the end of this round, we have 11 single crochet. In the next round, crochet 11 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. In the next round, crochet decrease and 9 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Now you can fill uh, the detail with fiber fill. Fold two of the sides together and crochet four single crochet one, two, three, and last one four, and with a slip stitch. The second uh, leg crocheted the same way by yourself. I already crocheted my. You should check the uh, that the both uh, arms and legs stuff in the same way, same tight. When you crocheted tail, ears, arms, legs, and muzzle. You can crochet the body. Body we will crochet together with the head. Arms and legs we will crochet together with the body. We will not uh, sew these parts. We will sew only ears, tail and muzzle to, to the bear. Okay, let's start. We will work with main color of the yarn. In magic green crochet 6 single crochet. In the second round we will crochet six increases so it means in each stitch we will crochet two single crochet one two three first increase increase number two three four five and last one six in the end of this round we have 12 single crochet
place the marker, third round crochet one single crochet, increase, repeat it six times. One single crochet, increase, one single crochet, increase, one single crochet, increase, and two times more. And last one, single crochet, increase. In the end of this round we have 18 single crochet. Next round crochet, two single crochet, one, two, and increase. And repeat it six times. One, two, increase. One, two, increase. Repeat it three more times. In the end of this round we have 24 single crochet. In the next round crochet 1, 2, 3 and increase. Repeat it 6 times. 1, 2, 3, increase. 1, 2, 3, Increase. Repeat it until the end of this round. At the end of this round, we will have third single crochet. Next round we will crochet 4 single crochet and 1 increase. Repeat it 6 times. 1, 2, 3, 4 and increase. 1, 2, 3, 4, increase. One, two, three, four, increase and repeat it until the end of this round. At the end of this round we will have 36 single crochet. was the round number six round number seven eight nine and ten we will crochet 36 single crochet in each round in the next round we will crochet legs together with the body crochet six single crochet one two three Four, five, six. Now we have to take one of the legs. You should find the place where we did increases. And uh, the nose <laughs> of the leg, uh, the front part, should look at the left side. Now insert hook into the leg and after into the body. 
crochet in this place first single crochet legs together with the body after in the second stitch second single crochet third fourth and single crochet number five and the last one crochet with loops from the side this one and together with the body it will be single crochet number six so we crochet it together with the body uh, legs with six single crochet after crochet 12 single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve now uh, we have to crochet the second leg together with the body the front part of this leg should look at the right side first loops loops uh, of the leg it should be loops from the side crochet with the body with one single crochet and after the same way like we did with first leg second single crochet and in each stitch of the leg and the body continue crocheting three single crochet four five and six until the end of this round crochet thick single crochet one two three four five and six the next two rounds crochet 36 single crochet in each round Continue by yourself. When you crochet at two rounds with a 36 single crochet in each round, the next round we will start to make decreases. Crochet 1, 2, 3, 4, decrease 1, 2, three four decrease and repeat it until the end of this round at the end of this round you will have 30 single crochet
The next two rounds crochet 30 single crochet in each round or 60 single crochet. Crochet by yourself. We crocheted already with you two rounds in each 30 single crochet and you can place the marker in the beginning of the new round and start crochet three single crochet one two three and one decrease one two Three decrease one two three decrease repeat it repeat the same three more times at the end of this round we will have twenty four single crochet. Next two rounds crochet without changes in each round 24 single crochet or you can crochet 48 single crochet. Continue by yourself. When you crochet at the second round, it will be round number 15, you can stuff the body with a fiber fill and after we will stuff uh, more tight the part where uh, the bear has a stomach. So try uh, to form in a stomach. First fill uh, the sides and only after you can add fiber fill in the middle. The next round crochet to single crochet decrease. Repeat it six times. One, two, decrease, one, two, Decrease 
वन टू डिक्रीज वन टू डिक्रीज एंड रिपीट एंटिल द एंड ऑफ दिस राउंड एट द एंड ऑफ दिस राउंड वी विल हैव एटीन सिंगल क्रेश Next round crochet 18 single crochet So round will be without changes no decreases no increases just 18 single crochet In the next round, we will crochet arms and body together. The arm should be located under the leg. So, if you see that um, your round starts not in the place uh, where starts your leg. You can just place the marker. For example, for me, I can see that uh, if I will remove one single crochet, it will be better because uh, it will be exactly under the leg. We will crochet arms with a with a body with a four single crochet, and after five single crochet between. arms uh so you should find this four single crochet exactly uh, on the leg now we will crochet arms and the body the same way like we did with uh, legs insert the hook uh into the arm and after into the body and crochet with four single crochet one two three and four Now you should check does it look nice is it under the leg and after you can crochet five single crochet one two three four five Now crochet the arm with the body together with four single crochet. One single crochet. Two single crochet. Three and four. After that, crochet five single crochet. If you see that uh, you can crochet uh, the one loops from the side into the body, like I have. I suggest you to crochet it with uh, the fourth. with the first single crochet insert hook in the arm and the body and after in that loop from the side like this
and after crochet five single crochet because if we will leave it like that uh, it won't look nice so my advice to hide that loop the next step what we will do it is to crochet the head the author of this uh, pattern crochet the head separate I like more to crochet arms and legs together with the body and uh, to make uh, uh, the head like a continue of the crochet in body you can feel little bit uh, the body with the fiber fill and after we will add uh, the fiber fill during crocheting don't forget to put uh, and stuff fiber fill first on the sides and only after in the middle continue crocheting please now we will crochet one single crochet decrease and repeat it six times at the end of this round we will have 12 single crochet In the next round we will make uh, increases uh, we have uh, to crochet 12 increases in each stitch to single crochet at the end of this round we will have 24 single crochet the end of this round we have 24 single crochet the next round we will crochet in the next round we will crochet three single crochet increase and repeat it six times one two three increase and like this continue until the end of this round at the end of this round we will have 30 single crochet In the next round we will crochet four single crochet increase and repeat it six times one two three four 
increase repeat it until the end of this round and at the end of this round we will have 36 single crochet In the next round we will crochet with you five single crochet one increase and repeat it six times one two three four five increase and repeat it five times more at the end of this round we will have 42 single crochet In the next five rounds we will crochet in each round 42 single crochet so five rounds with no changes you can crochet by yourself When you crochet it five rounds, you can stuff uh, the bear with uh, fiber fill. You should stuff really tight uh, the part between head and the body, so it's uh, around the neck, and a little bit less where we have the head. When you crochet it five rounds, you can insert uh, plastic eyes if you are using plastic eyes on a safety plug. Insert between second and third round what we crocheted one, two, three, and between second and third, uh, between eyes, four stitches. You can also fix uh, the plastic eyes with a lighter. I will show you how I usually do. So I can be sure that uh, the baby won't remove these eyes because the plastic sticks to the plug.
You can also use beads or uh, another eyes, like colorful, or you can use even uh, like half beads and uh, in the end of the crocheting put on the glue. Okay, continue crocheting. Next round, five single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. One decrease. And the same we will repeat six times. One, two, three, four, five decrease and four times more at the end of this round we will have 36 single crochet all next rounds we will make decreases In the next round, crochet four single crochet, one, two, three, four, and one decrease. Repeat it six times. At the end of this round, we will have 30 single crochet. In the next round, we will crochet 3 single crochet and 1 decrease and repeat it 6 times. At the end of this round, we will have 24 single crochet. In the next round we have to crochet two single crochet decrease and repeat it six times but before I suggest you to stuff uh, the hat with fiber fill while we still have uh, a good place comfortable uh, place to um, stuff the hat because when we will make more decreases, it will be harder to stuff the head. Okay, now we can continue and crochet two single crochet, one, two, decrease and repeat it six times until the end of this round. At the end of this round, we will have 18 single crochet.
in the next round we will crochet one single crochet decrease and repeat it six times one single crochet decrease one single crochet decrease one single crochet decrease and three more times until the end of this round at the end of this round we will have 12 single crochet Now you can add a little bit more fiber fill because after that we will close the ring. When you are done with stuffing, you can continue crocheting. Crochet 6 decreases and last decrease you should finish with a slip stitch. And the last decrease with a slip stitch and after that you can cut the thread but leave a long tail because we have to close uh, the circle if you need you can add little bit of fiber fill Because when you will close the circle, you can't do this. To close the circle, I will use needle and the long tail. I will insert needle in the front loops, only in the front loops and after that you can tie it and uh, fix near to the circle. I will just make a knot. After that you can hide uh, the tail inside the body or inside the head. I usually uh, fix uh, this uh, tail. I like to fix this tail in the place where the bear have a muzzle because uh, anyway we will close it but we can be sure that we fixed the tail properly you can make when you fix the tail end you can attach muzzle to the head 
I usually attach between five rounds, uh, one round below the eyes. I will see the muzzle with a thread, durable color, like a main color of the yarn. I prefer it more than attaching with a plush yarn. When you attached more than a half of the muzzle, you can uh, stuff the muzzle with a fiber fill, add just a little bit and continue attaching the muzzle. After that, you can attach ears. I already uh, knot the tails on the ears and uh, I sew the tail ends with uh, durable thread. And I will attach it like this under the eyes, one side will be exactly under the eyes, this line. I will attach ears with the same thread, what I used for attaching the muzzle. You can fix uh, the ears before you will attach them. It will be more uh, comfortable for you and you will be sure that uh, it located exactly uh, on the place where you want to attach them. Attach the ears by yourself. I already attached the ears and muzzle and uh, Look how it looks. I attached from the both sides of the ear. And now I have to attach the tail to the bear. Between round number 7 and 8 or even 6, 7, 8. On the middle between the legs. Attach the tail by yourself. So, we attached with you ears, muzzle and uh, the tail. And now we can make a face design for the bear. For this I will use needle and a cotton yarn black color. I will make uh, the line in the middle of the nose and also eyebrows. Check how the nose will look. If you like it, you can fix uh, the thread. After you uh, made a line between the nose, I suggest you to knot the tail ends and only after that continue with uh, design eyebrows. In the same place insert the needle and make a design uh, eyebrows design. Two stitches from the eye. It will be first place where uh, I will insert the needle and after two rounds uh, on top of the eye. The same you can do with the second eye. 
but first remove two rounds on top of the eye in this place. You should check that eyebrows will look uh, similar on the both sides. And after that insert the needle two stitches on the left side from the eye. And fix the tail ends, hide it inside the head. The teddy bear is almost ready. Now we have to attach the plastic nose. I will use glue, clear glue. Put the glue on the plastic nose and uh, attach to the muzzle under the line between uh, under the line in the middle of the muzzle and wait for a few minutes until it will be absolutely dry and fixed. Guys, our teddy bear is ready. I added for my bear uh, ribbon. I think that uh, uh, he looks more cute. I really like this color and uh, I hope guys that you like this pattern. As for me, it's very easy. And uh, I like to crochet this bear because uh, I need less than one skein of plush yarn for uh, making this guy. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed crocheting with me and if you have any questions you can ask them below this video. I will be happy to hear your feedback. Uh, you can follow me in my Instagram, subscribe to my channel, press like if you like this video. Thank you so much for crocheting with me. I really appreciate it. Hope to see you later. Have a good day. Bye bye.